Welcome back to Building Together. My name is Colin, and in this vlog, I'm going to start working on my new castle layout. In this vlog, I'm going to transform this space right here into the beginnings of my medieval area layout. I'm really excited to get into building this. As you can see, there's a lot of work to do to get this prepped, but I've been doing a lot of work on practice building for castle stuff. I've been taking apart some of the big sets that I had up here, and I'm going to continue to do that, put those things into my collection, and start laying out base plates on this pool tabletop. So that way I can start putting castle stuff together and creating this layout. It's going to be a long-term project, but this vlog is going to show kind of the setup and the very beginnings of the layout. All right, so I've taken apart the Disney castle. That used to be right over there on my pool table. And all the pieces are now scattered about right there. After I'm done putting these pieces in my collection, I'm going to then take apart the roller coaster. Alright, we've taken apart the roller coaster, which was right there, and now it's that whole thing in pieces, and I have somebody here helping me put the pieces away. Hey, Autumn. Yay. So let's go ahead and put all these pieces into my storage and away. containers. All right, we have finished putting everything away from the pool table. We have deconstructed all of those fairground sets and added them to the collection. And before I show you what I've got planned for the table, I want to kind of walk you through something that I noticed as I was putting stuff away. Check this out. We've got these bins right here, all my large Technic pieces, my uh, 1x6 tiles, 1x8 tiles, my 1x2 plates that are not light or dark gray and my profile bricks or brick bricks those are overflowing and so I've got other stuff over here that just is not fitting into all of my containers very well so you got hinges and some tiles there other Technic pieces 
Uh, I've got two by two round tiles and modified tiles. It's just kind of a, a huge mess and I'm gonna have to figure that out, but that's gonna have to happen another day because what I wanna show you now is the layout for our big castle medieval area. So, so here we go. On this far side right here, you can see some blue base plates around here. This is going to be water. Uh, I'm going to put a large castle kind of in this area here where these uh, old road base plates are. It's going to be a pretty large footprint. So I'm really excited to see what happens with that. And that's why I didn't put any green down there because it's going to be raised up and I'm going to be using on top of that rock work uh, some 16 by 16 plates to, to build up the castle. So you can envision kind of looking this way and seeing a large castle. On this side of the table, I'm actually going to begin by placing the old 1980s castle sets. You've been seeing some of those reviews and I am going to be putting uh, those that are built on regular plates on here and kind of creating a little bit of a medieval area to um, Start off the castle zone eventually that will all be replaced. I'm I'm thinking there's gonna be like, like a lot of woods some trees Forestmen uh, if you remember those kind of sets not actual sets But you know similar type Robin Hood theme sets over here or mocks over here and then in the middle you can see I've got some light there are some tan and some dark gray base plates. These really are placeholders until I would get more green base plates. Uh, I want to kind of make the paths and, and farms and fields out here in this middle section here. So I don't really have enough green base plates. As you can see, this is kind of like the extent of them. I have a few more that I can use, but uh, not a ton. So that's going to be... Um, the layout as I'm envisioning it at the beginning and I am gonna start laying out this big castle that's gonna go right here this week so it's gonna be a lot of progress happening this summer in our leg room one final note I am putting this white sheet up here as a kind of a barrier and a way to make, take photographs although I'm not sure if it's gonna stick around uh, it's great to provide a white background with appropriate lighting, but honestly, I don't know. I'm not sold on it. Comment down below if you think I should just ditch that white sheet and let our Buckeye striped wall shine through and, and be a part of all of our videos that I shoot down here. Can never have enough Ohio State stuff, right? So let me, let me know in the comments below what you think, and thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and... Keep building together.